Hi friends. You know what this is. It is a video in which I open a box and we see more blatant consumerism. Apologies. Hey look. Thank you, Maria. You're welcome. Thank you. So, what did I get? I'm going to be honest. I don't remember, but now I just remembered. I wanted, like, if I'm honest with you, friends, you know I'm always honest with you. I really wanted this bottle. Those of you who know, already know what it is. You already know. You already know what brand it is, at least. But, I got ink. I also got a pen. Why did I get a pen? Why did I get, like, a kind of cheap, disposable pen? Huh. So this is a Platinum Preppy. Hey, look at that. It's pretty cool. I've never used one of these. I like that lid action. It has a good sound. Okay. Uh, anyway, this is the blue-black color. We'll come back to this. We'll start with this. So there's this brand of ink called Monarca. They're um, inks inspired by Mexico. I think they're made in Mexico. And this color is Cenote. And my group at work worked on a feature that was, is a Cenote. So I felt like I wanted to buy this ink. Now, this ink is also super cool because it comes with this little wooden stand, and then the bottle goes in it, and then you can put your pen here. Super fancy. Also, let's try to make this faster, Maria. It is hot in here today. It is 100 something degrees outside. <clears throat> then next up we have this. This is ink from P.W. Ackerman Den Hag. I think I'm saying that right. I don't know. Vulpin Special Sock since 1910. So Vulpin, I think, is fountain pen. And this is Vulpin inked. So this I got in the color Pulkery Pink. And I got this because I wanted the bottle because... Basically, the internet is pretty sure that Ackerman inks are actually just diamine inks. <laughs> so, sometimes you want the cool bottle and you pay extortionate prices. I'm not too proud to admit that. So, what makes this bottle cool? It's glass. Um, it has this reservoir at the top. So you fill it up by pouring the bottle that way and now there's ink at the top and then you can fill your pen from there. And Anyway, cool. So I got a pink color. There's a surprise to all of us. Oh, by the way, here's the colors from Monarca, the other colors. Stir before use, thanks. And then I got a couple of ink samples. So this one, I wanted to buy the bottle, but then I was like, Maria, don't you dare, young lady. <laughs> young lady, who am I kidding? Buy a sample. So I did. So this is Dominant Industry Sunset. And it is like a purple with gold, I think. And... The last sample. 
Bay State Blue. Look, look, I'm a sucker. I've never tried it and you just hear about it. And so here we are. I had to try it. So like, I think this was a fairly restrained order. Why, so anyway, that's why I got this pen because there is one thing I know about Bay State Blue and that is that it stains everything. So might as well get a cheap pen to put it in. Now the question is, am I gonna use up the ink that's in here first? I think the answer to that is no. But you know what time it is. I got new ink, it's time for this. Swatching. I can't really see what my camera can see, but you can see all of this. So we got here a brush that is soaking. Whoops. And we'll dry it off. This is a special, not sponsored, towel used just for ink and also paint. And blowing my nose. No, I'm kidding about that last one. Um, I haven't painted in a while. Now, what is happening? Why can't you scoot forward? Okay, I can. Good news. So, what else do we have? We have our dip pen, our glass dip pen, our coloring cards or coal o-ring, but they're coloring. And a moment to appreciate everything that's happening in life and our Inca pet. Let's try and go in an order that makes sense. So, Polkery Pink. That's how I think it's pronounced. I don't actually know. I'm hoping this is a cool pink. Look at, I just I just fired this and look at how great this ink is sticking to this. Mm, lovely. Oh, and our Tomoe River on the side paper. Good job for remembering, Maria. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm gonna be honest. This looks so much like the ink that I happened to put it next to that it's sort of ridiculous. Lamy Vibrant Pink and then Polk Pink. Good job, Maria. Thanks. Okay. Get our box cutter out of the way. Let's put that in our pocket. In our compartment. I was just about to dip. You know this ink? I think this ink is turning to be a little bit warmer than I was hoping for, but it's gonna be beautiful. And I'm gonna love it because I paid money for it and that's called sunk cost fallacy. Um, it's not exactly, but we're just gonna pretend. This is the problem with just buying a bottle, but I'll say this, no matter what, I'm gonna like this color. It may not be the color I thought it would be. 
Dang it, Marie, I forgot. I forgot the other paper. I remembered quickly. So that's something positive. Getting better. I wonder if I can like move the um, marble out of the way. Yeah. I can. get my tweezers you don't have to Maria okay anyway but you can kind of see this top section is misfilled I'm not gonna pour it over so you can see real good because that would spill the ink so there's poultry pink and then we'll try and compare to some other inks that I have that I was wondering about before I got it. Look, get out of my way. Go somewhere. Okay, can't be there. Next up, let's look at this Monarca Cenote color. Now it says shake it. Oh. So this has shimmer. Well, we were gonna do the shimmer last. This says, from Mexico, for the love of writing. Cenote. That's super blue. I gotta shake it again. I hope you enjoy the sounds of writing as much as I do. Because that's a conscious decision to let you hear it. If you don't like it, feel free to let me know nicely down in the comments and I will take note of it and let that guide my future decisions. Ooh, did you see me remember? Yeah, you did. Hope you're proud of me. I don't like these new coloring cards quite as much. You can't really see this Tomoe River paper here, but you can see that it's there. Okay, I think um, despite me talking about doing the um, shimmer ink last, I'm going to do sunset because it's a light color. And we all remember what I said about base date. I'm going to be 
honest, it kind of sounds like the shimmer is chunky in here. I think my ears are broken. You know how that happens. Dominant industry. An interesting name, brand name. They are a Korean company, if I recall correctly. And they started out doing something else and then they spun off this branch. Is that right? No, oh, who knows? I might be thinking of another brand. Just forget I said anything. I have. Half the time when I you y'all comment to something I say, I'm like, what did I say? And I have to rewatch the video. So <laughs> off the bat, this reminds me of from Cali, but like with shimmer. I'm not seeing the shimmer, but I know it's there, so Maybe darker than from Cali. We'll compare. Fear not, friends. And now, the scary one. Okay, everybody. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sure I actually want to support it doesn't matter but I want to try the color I mean it matters but I didn't buy a bottle That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah Not my most brilliant writing example. So, um, this is pretty blue. I already regret this. I think 
this is a lot like a Klein blue. Is that the name of the blue I'm thinking of? It's this blue that there's a painting, a really famous painting that's like blue. Like, holy cow, you've never seen anything so blue. And I saw that painting or one very much like it in the Tate. Um, and this is that same shade of blue. So blue it hurts. So here's a question. Look at that. It stained my brush. Because that was clean and clean. But we knew it would. Um, so here's our ink swatches on cards. They've mostly dried. So again, we have Polkery Pink. I'm going to move these out away a little bit. Monarca Cenote, which is, by the way, not pronounced C-note. If you, like me, learned how certain words from reading, that might be confusing to you. Um, and then Dominant Industry Sunset. So, since we got all the time in the world and it's not 200 degrees in here, Polkery Pink, we are a little bit worried that it was a lot like Lamy Vibrant Pink. And if I compare them, this is a redder color. That's definitely pinker. But in the writing, in the writing they're similar, but I'm seeing more sheen in the Lamy. And the Lamy, of course, has some, some actual shimmer. And then do I have any other colors like it here in my bottled inks? No, if you want to see it next to a really true red, here's Red Dragon. I love this red. I thought I should own a red, so then I got that one. And then, um, let's see. If you know this one, Pink Ice from Ink Bent. Not the same. And then, do I have any swatches that are similar? I think not. So, good news is, this is basically, I don't have anything quite like it. Hurrah! Cenote, this actually kind of looks a lot like Glamorous Peacock, which is probably here no are you in here similar so kiwi ink glamorous peacock and Monarca Cenote. If I look at it, the shimmer in the peacock is a little bit more teal, whereas in this it's a little more aqua. The blue in this is a deeper blue. They both have the red sheen, though I think the sheen looks more obvious in Glamorous Peacock. Those are pretty similar. Let's say you don't have that, but you have something like nitrogen. Those are pretty similar, but I will say that the, the blue in this is, is deeper. To me, a bit more like this color versus KSL V2, but warmer, perhaps. Um, oh, and here, because this happened to be laying open to this uh, blue ring octopus, but... Not really that similar. Now, Dominant Industry Sunset, I was worried it was a lot like, well, not worried, but I was thinking it was maybe a lot like from Cali. Where are you from, Cali? Are you back here? I know I have you. I bought you. It's really warm. I'm gonna have to go like buy some popsicles or something. So uh, here's Colorverse from Cali. 
And here's Dominant Industry Sunset. Do I see a difference in the writing? Yes, this is warmer, but they're very similar. This has shimmer in it, so they're not, they're not gonna be identical in that way, but they're very similar inks. And then Bay State Blue is in a league of its own. There's a reason it is how it, like, you know, there's a reason that people deal with it. So if we want to compare it to, like, a blue, um, for instance, here, if you're familiar with Lamy Blue, oops, Um, there's an idea. So, very exciting. Um, I'm looking forward to using these inks. But, you know, not for like a week because we're in the middle of 30 inks. Um, here's how these swatches look on Tamoy River Paper. I'd say the one that is the most remarkably different is probably the sunset. You just get more of that like multi-chromatic shading in there. Um, I'm very happy with my ink selections. Um, this pen, I have to decide what I'm gonna do. Like, am I just gonna try and write and use all this ink or am I gonna put this ink in like a sample container or what am I gonna do with it? And then I will use this pen for base state blue. If I wanted, I could eyedropper it, but I feel like that's not a, an adventure I wanna go on with an ink that's super, super staining. So uh, thanks for hanging out with me today to play with inks while it is, I mean, I'm not kidding when it's like 100 degrees outside and I am now schwitzing all over the place. So I hope you are having a great day and staying cool. Thanks everybody, bye.